Hey YouTube, it's my Isha Marie. I'm back with another video. So in this video, this is going to be the complete wash process um, after I've taken down my braid. So this wash day process consists of me washing my hair, conditioning, deep conditioning, detangling. I'm going to blow dry my hair and give myself a trim. And then I'm going to style my hair with a twist out. Now, I know I said I was going to leave my braids in for another two weeks or three weeks, but what I had noticed, my skin had gotten really bad. I started breaking out, and I realized every time I wash my hair, it's cleaning my scalp, but then all that dirt, it's just getting trapped into the, the, the knot where your braid starts. All that buildup that you have or that I had when I took those braids out, that was all from every single wash day. I mean, some of the dirt and dandruff and oils probably came out, but a lot of it got trapped into the the knot, the root of my, um, my braids. So to make a long story short, I had to go ahead and get those braids out so I can wash my hair. Y'all know how bad I wanted to deep condition my hair anyway. So it was a Monday night. I decided to go ahead and do this. So in order to get rid of those knots, before I wash my hair, I always take, I took some coconut oil that I got from the Dollar Tree and I rubbed that onto my hair where those knots are. Uh, it's just a knot of buildup, basically. You just have to break that apart before you can wash your hair. If you don't, it's going to get matted and really... Uh, it's gonna get worse. It's almost like it's gonna tighten it up and you'll really have a hard time trying to comb through it So I took the coconut oil and I rubbed it through those knots and I just took my time to pull them apart one by one And then when those knots were when the buildup was loose enough, then I took the oil to uh, rub it down the rest of my hair and at the same time I was pulling out the shedded hairs um, while I was rubbing that uh, oil in. I really tried my best to get as much uh, shedded hair out as possible without having to comb or brush through my dry hair because I didn't want it to break. Um, taking out the shed hair just make the wash detangling process uh, so much easier. I usually will speed up my videos when I do voiceover, but with this particular area of my hair i just want to show y'all how long it took me to detangle each one of those uh braids at the roots it takes a while so you really have to be patient and here i was getting frustrated because my arms was hurting but you really have to be patient when it comes to stuff like this because you will get frustrated and rip your hair out and be bald headed Here, I was giving myself a little lint check. It looks like my hair reaches, barely reaches armpit lint. So that's pretty good. My hair is growing at a good rate.
All right, so I had to throw my hair up into a bun because I had to run to Publix and it was like seven o'clock at night. So um, I wanted to insert this clip because I want to show y'all how I came across. This was an accident on how I made this bun. I was really just freestyling. And whenever I want to make a bun, I'm going to do this because it was cute. So I took this, um, it's like a little piece of cloth and just tied it into a, a ponytail. And then at the end, I just use a hairpin and, and pin the end, the end of it. And I took all my ends and I put them up into a tiny, um, like a little ponytail at the end. And then I just took that part and tucked it into the middle of that bun. And I took a hairpin to secure that. And I just thought that was a cute bun. So at this point, I already deep conditioned my hair for 30 minutes and I used the Cantu Deep Treatment uh, Mask. I think that's what it's called. But I used that to deep condition my hair and I was just about to rinse it out. So this is me after I rinsed out the deep conditioner and this is with no product in my hair at all. It was still just soaking wet with water and I still got a few curls in there so now I'm about to prepare my hair for blow dry I used um I used what did I use I used some Shea Moisture um dang it oh curl enhancing smoothie I used it on my hair and then I blow dried it and I added it back. When I blow dried my hair, it was really dry. So I had to put some more moisturizer in it. But um, when I blow dried my hair, I just did the tension method, which is when you just pull the end and blow dry it. I didn't use a brush or a comb because I probably would have ripped my hair out. But I did use a heat protectant. I think I showed the heat protectant in a clip before this. Now at the end, I used the cool setting to dry my roots. For some reason, my hair was dry, but my scalp was soaking wet still. I don't know how that happened, but. And I could tell the difference in my skin the same night. Like after I washed my hair, my skin looked, well, it looked so much better. That's why I knew, I know for a fact that your skin on your face, it matters what you put into your hair because it affects your skin. So for the trim, I did a, a tiny, tiny trim because I, my ends weren't too bad, but I just know I needed something. But um, I put the conditioner, the Shea Moisture moisturizer on my hair first. I smoothed my hair out and then I cut the end and then I would twist it. Now, when I get to the bottom, if I felt like my ends were still kind of rough, you can feel the roughness on the ends. And you can feel them, when, you can tell when they're really, really smooth too. So if I felt I need to cut a little more, I would just snip off a little bit more. All right, so I'm done with my twist, and now I'm going to apply this organic castor oil to my scalp and also to my hair. Okay, so for the rest of this week, each night, the only thing I'm going to do to reserve this hairstyle is just put some hair oil or moisturizer if my hair feels dry. I'm going to apply that to my hair, seal it with some oil, twist it up at night. Not a lot of twists, just a few, like you see here. And that's it. And I'm going to try and rock this for the rest of the week until it's time for a wash day. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate y'all watching my videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see y'all next time.